What's up, everyone? We are here at E3 2016. I'm Mike Mahardy here with Dave Jewett. Hey. We just saw some Dawn of War 3, and Dave here is a big Warhammer fan, or nerd, nerd. whichever one yeah. you want to say. He says nerd. I didn't want to insult him, but I like RTS games. This is kind of a match made in Warhammer heaven. Yeah. So Dave, tell us, what kind of like story are we looking at here with Dawn of War 3? So apparently, the Eldar, the Orcs, and the Space Marines, the, the Blood Ravens, have been drawn to this planet in search of an ancient weapon. And while they've all been drawn to it, they're now fighting over it. That's pretty much as much as the Dawn of War guys wanted to tell us at that point. It's We don't know if it's all set on one planet, but what we do know is that it's a powerful artifact, and apparently everyone wants it. And then we have these hero units, right? And these like super titan units, like some of the biggest that uh, they've ever made. Uh, yeah. Can you tell me about some of those characters? So we've got Gabriel Angelos, who is, he was the captain in the last Dawn of War. He is now the chapter master. Um, we have uh, Lady Solaria, I think her name was, mm -hmm. who commands an Imperial Knight. Those are the two characters we were introduced to. But Gabriel Angelos is like a tanky character. He's, he's your line breaker. He can um, jump forward and engage in melee. And then the Imperial Knight is just like a huge towering behemoth just firing lead everywhere. Yeah, gameplay-wise, the, they're really just going for a differing sense of scale, right? Yeah. You have the regular Space Marines, which they were saying, even in their own right, still like four meters tall or something. Yeah. Uh, but then you have Angelos, and he's this hero unit wielding his hammer, so then he gets even bigger. But then you have, you know, like this, these Titan units, right? Uh, Lady Solaria comes down, and she's probably like, I think they said like 14 meters tall yeah, or something. Yeah, so the, there's the Space Marines that are like seven and a half feet. Then there's Angelos, his Terminator armor, which is bigger. Then it's Dreadnought, which is even bigger. And then the Imperial Knight is like, hey yeah. man, how's it going up there? Just like double Gatling guns, just to, you know, oh, yeah. you activate the ability to just like spread and it's just, just, just destroy combat. everything in the map. So from a gameplay perspective, it's kind of about like managing these different scales, right? You have these like the Space Marines kind of like the melee ones jumping into cover while the bigger units kind of lay down suppressing fire. Yeah. From a gameplay perspective, it seems like you're going to be kind of like trying to manipulate each of those levels against the, the opponent, right? Traditional RTS like about, you know, breaking lines and trying to get behind them. And, you know, spread out fire and everything. Then at the end, you kind of really get a sense of scale, right? At the end of the demo, we saw the orbital laser comes down. It's pretty big at first, for, right? But then it starts hitting more Eldar and more Eldar and getting huge and like almost sucking them up, like kind of yeah. like anti-gravity, right? You've got like, it's, it's a real sense of what these giant futuristic weapons can do. Like, as you mentioned, the orbital bombardment cannon, the longer it stays in the field, the bigger it gets, the more powerful it gets. It starts affecting the gravity and all the Eldar start floating up. And then we see some of the abilities that the Imperial Knight Hammer, she's just, firing rocket pods everywhere and it's just crushing damage. We've got these big defensive points that are now ca only counterable really by um, assault units and melee units. So they've got a real like one-two punch where um, there's different ways to counter whether you're assault, whether you're giant, whether you're entrenched, whether you're melee. There's, there's more strategy, I feel, than there has been in previous Dawn of Wars. Right, and the demo they showed us was just pretty much Space Marines with their really good units fighting Eldar, right? Yeah. Kind of like the vanilla Eldar units. I'm really excited to see kind of like what kind of Pacific Rim situations will play out yeah. when these huge units are just battling each other, because then, you know, you get the counterattacks from different super units. In I'm the cinematic, we, um, we did see a, what I believe was a Wraith Knight, which mm -hmm. is the, the Eldar equivalent of the um, Imperial Knight. Okay. Just get a big chain fist driven through yeah. them. And I'm sure the Orcs will have um, their own equivalent, maybe like a Gargant or something. Something suitably gross and cobbled together. Let's hope so. So that's Dawn of War 3. Uh, we did not get to play it at all, it was just a presentation and interview with game directors and whatnot. But we will have more news coming out of that. Halo Wars 2 is another RTS that's here at the show. But for more news coming out of those, stay tuned to GameSpot.com, and we'll see you later.